Hi, welcome to another episode of Live Skill Television. I'm Joseph Ward, the founder of Live Skill, Live Fulfilled, which is a comprehensive life skills training and sexual domestic violence prevention company. Um, today in this video, I'm going to cover sexual obsession and the media, and specifically how the media um, creates these images and ideologies that causes those who follow and buy into the messages that the media give causes them to obsess over sex and make sex and sexuality uh, in an unhealthy manner the focal point of their maturation into manhood or womanhood and that that's the main point I want to cover the unhealthy maturation or I don't even want to call it maturation. I guess the un the unhealthy process of moving into manhood or womanhood with the idea of I have to obsess over sex. Now, where the media comes in, the media is um, the main outlet for a lot of these messages that get out. Like for example, if you have ever seen some of these Hardee's commercials where, where the woman is biting the hamburger and she biting it so seductively and you know the condiments is dripping all down her arm and she got to go and look all her arm all sexual and all that stuff there and you know they're doing this to sell hamburgers and you you don't really like you don't have to do that at all to sell hamburgers but it's just the whole sexual nature of what's going into the commercial that the actual company is using to sell a hamburger and so now you have those who buy into those ideas and those who constantly take those messages in. Uh, those people are thinking that sex and food have to go together or, you know, I have to be sexy when I'm eating or in order to get somebody to do this, I got to use food. And, you know, it's not that serious. You know, you eat because you're hungry and you have sex for other reasons and things like that. You know, we need to be able to spend time, especially teaching our youth, healthy sexuality and I know these are topics that we don't really want to talk about with our kids and parents are saying well if I teach my child about sex they're going to have sex well the reality is remember you was a teenager too you was a child too let's just be real let's let's stop acting like sex just started today right so you know when you were growing up just like when I was growing up there were there were kids our age having sex I was in middle school, 6th grade, you know, 11, 12 years old, people having sex. 6th graders having sex. Alright? So, that happens. So, now that we know our children are having sex, as a matter of fact, our children are having unprotected anal and vaginal sex. I mean, excuse me, anal and oral sex because of the mixed messages that their parents are giving them. Hey, be a virgin, so I'm not going to have vaginal sex. I'm going to have anal and oral sex and all these things here because sex is what's going to make me cool. If I'm a girl having sex and doing certain things, it's going to make these guys like me. And if I'm a guy having sex, it's going to make me a man because you're not a man until you have sex. And it's sad that we live in a society where people, especially men who are virgins, are, are looked at in a strange manner. You know, it's okay. But the unhealthy messages that we get about sex in our magazines. Um, because it's a, it's a line that you have to draw between sexuality and sexual obsession, right? Sexual objectification, all these things. It's a line that has to be drawn, right? Because it's nothing wrong with sexuality. It's nothing wrong with nudity. It's nothing wrong with the human body with the human body. There's nothing wrong with having sex and talking about sex and even enjoying the conversation about sex. I do. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's something wrong when the idea of sex is unhealthy and you look at you're looking at sex as an ego booster. You're looking at sex as a goal in life. You're looking at sex as your ticket to manhood or your ticket to womanhood. See, this is where the problem lies. And once again, the media comes in because now we're talking about making money. People want to make money. So what makes money? Sex, 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 sex. They told people sex sells, sex sells, sex sells. And people brought into the idea that sex sells, right? So we've all seen, you know, you got the, 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 um, the porn industry is a billion dollar industry all over the internet. The internet is mostly comprised of pornography. 
around the world. And you can see sex all throughout the movies, magazines, and even now social media. We have all these uh, children who have no idea what sex is, safe sex is, sexuality, that how their body works, and all these things, but they can go on their phone and type in something and all these things pop up, got all these different apps that these that these um, people are on. Even adults, they, you'd be surprised how many adults don't really understand about sex, but we're all obsessed over sex, right? If you've, if you've been raised by the TV, and I was one of the ones who was raised by the TV, you know, um, sex has been implanted, you know, been bombarded in your brain since you were young, you just didn't know. There was a lot of subtle messages and, and you know, the subliminal messages and all these things that were put, that were put into our minds. And um, now, we're, now that we are adults, these are the things that we have to think about when it comes to our children and the next generation. Do we really want to continue raising generations of people who obsess over sex? Who treat sex as if it's a commodity? And who have unhealthy ideas about sex, which leads to unhealthy ideas about relationships. Because a lot of people think that sex is the relationship. Which leads to a lot of other issues, especially with a lot of, a lot of these diseases that are out right now. But it's just unhealthy ideas, uh, unstable emotions, um, uh, bad mindsets. All these things go into um, creating a real, really, really, really volatile situation. And I'm not blaming the media, but I am saying that the media, because I'm not saying the media created all of these unhealthy ideas about sex, but the media heightens these unhealthy ideas. The media uses these unhealthy ideas and, and various outlets use the media to help, uh, I guess you could say, pour more gas on the fire to help the, the idea of unhealthy sexuality and sexual obsession continue to thrive in our society. That's why you can go buy all these certain things. I'm not saying um, you shouldn't have sex. I'm not saying you shouldn't explore sexuality. But like I said earlier, there is a fine line between sexuality, healthy sexuality, and unhealthy sexuality that leads to the sexual objectification. So if you, like when I was growing up, we really thought that that's what you were supposed to do when you... When you reach a certain age, you're supposed to have sex. If you a dude, if you ain't having sex, something wrong with you. You lame. You you something wrong with you. You're not you're not gonna be a real man if you're not having sex, which is which is wrong because we never really understood what sexuality was. All we want to do was just have sex, not even really understanding what sex is, not even really understanding our anatomy or the anatomy of the girl. You know. So. When you have all that going on, that's an issue. And these are things that we need to talk about, right? If you have unstable emotions, uh, you're misinformed about sex and sexuality and how things are supposed to work, and you continuously out there engaging in these relationships, you're going to have bad results. And these are the things we need to start thinking about with our children having bad results, right? I'm not... I'm not pointing the finger at anybody. I'm saying this is an issue that all of us need to deal with. Unhealthy sexuality is what we need to really pay attention to. And stop being afraid to talk about sex. Right? Stop being afraid to talk about it. If you have... I mean, think about it. None of us would be here if people didn't have sex. People been having sex for millions of years. People going to continue to have sex. Talk about it, but learn... Figure out the best way to talk about it with your kids and how your kids respond to it and people in your family, even some, some of your parents and adults and even people in relationships. But you can't just say, hey, this is how we always did it because we see how things go wrong. And, th and it's not cool for things to just continue going wrong and us to normalize it. No, let's, let's do something different. So um, the media helps push unhealthy ideas of sexual obsession because it's very lucrative, right? Through print media, um, through radio, TV, um, you know, blogs, internet, um, now cell phones, these apps, all these different um, mediums for unhealthy ideas of sexuality to get out into the open and to fall into the wrong hands, the hands of somebody who doesn't understand what sex and sexuality is. 
be mindful about the, the technology that you give to your children. Understand how it works. Understand all the different channels and, 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 uh, and the access that your child can have. Learn the piece of technology. Learn it. Learn how it works. Don't just give it to them. Learn how it works. Don't just, don't just buy them a movie because it looks cool. Watch the movie first. You know, uh, watch the TV shows first or watch it with them and be ready to explain certain things. Don't just leave it to their interpretation or leave it to their crazy friends to, to try to interpret it for them when you know that's going to come out wrong. Just try different things because we, it's time for us to combat these unhealthy ideas of sexuality because it all still leads back to the unhealthy culture of violence and the culture of rape that we have in our society. And... It's time to reverse it and combat it. America was built on violence, but we don't have to continue to live in a violent manner. Let's think about it. I'm Joseph Ward. Once again, this is Live Skill Television. I'm the founder and owner of Live Skill Live Fulfilled, which is a comprehensive life skill training and sexual domestic violence prevention company. Remember, you can visit my website at www.liveskilledtraining.com. Once again, that's www.liveskilledtraining.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Live Skill, follow me on Periscope at Live Skill, and I'm on Facebook, Live Skill, Live Fulfilled. I appreciate you all support and for tuning in and remember spread these messages and let's talk about these things with the people that we are engaged in relationships with. Until next time, peace out.